little bit about um, people who say, my belief is in my heart, and that's all I need. It, can you just expand on a little bit more on how to convey or best convey that it's not just having a belief in your heart, but actually carrying out the actions? Yeah, uh, thank you. And this is a very, very uh, common thing. And uh, I, I believe, in my opinion, that this is a pretext not to do things. Pretext not to do things. Because, as I said, in, in, you have to give practical examples to give people. If that's your question, how to approach mm -hmm. such a, someone who does that, you have to give practical examples. And to give practical examples, you have to think yourself about it a lot. That's why when, when you, people relate to examples, people relate to examples, and especially examples from their life. That's why Allah used this example method, giving parables or examples or stories in the Quran to, to depict the meaning that Allah SWT wanted to say, right? Um, you can use an example of your surroundings. Let's say that person loves flowers and gardening and things like that, right? Say so what would, how, how you would like to see a flower that smells good? How would, you, how would you like that? I'm asking you now the question, I'm playing the other side. Like let's say you are that person and I'm talking to you now. Yes. Do you like flowers? Yes. How, how would you get to a flower that smells good and you enjoy looking to it? What are the, 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 the steps to get to that? Properly gardening or growing it. Before that, what do you do? Yeah, to grow it. You have to grow it in your garden, right? Yeah. Then how? How? What is the first step? Planting a seed. Okay. <laughs> and before the, the seed, you have to go buy the seed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, just get the seed and put it in front of you in the desk. And expect a flower to come. <laughs> right? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Right? So what are you going to do? You have to make sure that the soil is right. You have the right amount of water have the right weather, you plant the seed the right way, right? And then expect that, right? Expect the flower to come and it grows. And if you do not maintain it, if you do not handle it the right way, right? It's not going to be a flower. But once you see the flower in front of you, you enjoy. So there are two things here. Number one, you have to have a goal. You have to have a goal. Why you are believing in Allah? Why? You are believing in Allah, right? Like the flower. I wanted a good smelling, nice looking flower at my house. Okay? So, why are you believing in Allah? That question has to be asked to that person. Why are you believing in Allah? This, you describe that you have a good faith and it's enough in the heart. So, why you have that belief in the heart? It has to bring some action, some result, right? So, why you have that belief? And number two, how you go about to fulfill that goal? Why do we believe in Allah? Why do we believe in Allah? Question. To, Why to do paradise. we? What's that? To attain paradise, to, to get to Jannah. Very good. So how, how you know that you how you know that you you get to Jannah or not? Allah's mercy. Uh, yeah, but how you know that Allah, this is Allah's mercy? How Allah is merciful with you? How would you know that? Like By the way, He described, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to go at the end to what Allah described. If you do that, I become merciful on you. If you do that, I'm gonna punish you. If you do this, this is how it is. But you do, you do not say, oh, Allah is merciful, so I will do whatever, and Allah is merciful. No, Allah did not say that. Allah said, I am merciful to those who deserve mercy. And to get the mercy, you have to do this, this, this. So you cannot say, I'm expecting the mercy, I believe in God, and I stop at that one stage of putting the seed in front of me right here, and I'm expecting to get to the paradise by the mercy of God. But you have to gain that mercy, you have to be qualified for that mercy, you have to do these things. Even those things against your desire. You don't want to go to the garden. You're going to go out of town. You have to make sure that someone come and water the plants. Right or no? Yes? You have to make sure that this is maintained. It's hard. It's not easy. It will make you always alert. It will make you always in check. It will make you do things and make sure that the plan is in place. It's not simple. But those people who say it's only in the heart, they don't want to do this gardening. They want this, the flower to pop out from the seed just like that. <laughs> you know, Al Hassan al Basri, one of the Tabi'een, said, In Qawman, Qarratum al Amani, Yaquluna Nuhsinu al Dhanna billah, Wallahi lao Ahsanu al Dhanna, la Ahsanu al Amal. In Qawman, Qarratum al Amani. Some people they were deceived by hoping, wishes. 
They say, we think good about Allah, Allah is merciful. He says, by Allah, if they know that Allah is merciful, they wouldn't disobey Him. <laughs> right? They will do the things that will make Him merciful. Allah is merciful, yes. But Allah does not like people to be kafir. Allah said that in the Quran. وَلَا يَرْضَى لِعِبَادِهِ الْكُفْرِ Allah does not want you to be kuffar. Allah does not want you to be bad. But Allah is merciful. Merciful if you ask for His mercy. And when you stop and ask for His mercy, that means you're admitting that you are doing a mistake. Right? That's number one. So I did a mistake, and I said, Ya yeah Allah, I'm hoping for your mercy. It's not like, you know, I'm stealing, and while I'm opening the safe, and I said, Mercy, God, give me mercy. It's not, it doesn't work that way. Or somebody cheating, or somebody committing adultery, and while he's committing, and he said, Your mercy, God. How is this going to work? You know, or somebody drinking, and said, Allah, I wish for your mercy. You know, cheer, cheers, I wish for your mercy. You have to stop, you have to repent, you have to regret, and said, Ya Allah, your mercy. Yes, he will give you his mercy then. So <laughs> mercy and paradise is not, you, you don't jump all those steps. So, you know, I hope the message is clear. Thank you. Yeah. And, and sometimes I give very uh, explicit examples like that. So you have to forgive me for this. You, know. you are, the camera is on? I thought it is off. No, I didn't put that.